relax and take notes. Walla, flat tip, walla, flat tip, walla, flat tip, take tote. Relax and take notes. Walla, flat tip, take tote. So the, the ma- marijuana smoke. Welcome back to the Audacity Podcast. I am the man on the street. Well, the battle for rap supremacy is going down for the two heavyweights of the hip-hop industry, and I'm talking about Drake and Kendrick Lamar. Man, it's going down. I mean, it's getting good, y'all. Oh, my goodness. But I think it started when Kendrick Lamar did this on that Control record. I'm usually homeboys with the same niggas I'm rhyming with, but this is hip-hop, and them niggas should know what time it is. And that goes for Jermaine Cole, Big Crit Wale. Push your team, Meek Mills, ASAP Rocky, Drake, Big Sean, J. Electron, Tyler McMiller. I got love for you all, but I'm trying to murder you niggas. Man, Kendrick came hard at them boys, and, and I was like, nobody going to say nothing back to him. But nobody did. But yet, they were subliminally dissing each other. Oh, sending little, little snide remarks. You, you know, you know, you listen to the songs. But man, it got good. J. Cole came out with his song saying that, hey, we the big three. You know, J. Cole, Drake. And Kendrick Lamar, but then Kendrick didn't like that, I guess. Because he did that record and say, what? F the big three. It's just big me. And you know what, what, what J. Cole did? J. Cole came out with a diss record, but then a hard diss record. But then J. Cole apologized. Huh? Apologize? Man, this is hip hop. But J. Cole, you know, like I said, he's one of my favorite MCs. And J. Cole's like, man, I don't want none of that, man. You know, I, I got other things to do. But that bad man from Canada, oh, I'm talking about Drizzy Drake. Oh, I'm talking about Drake say, I'm the what? I'm standing on top of this mountain. Drake said this. Okay. All right. I'm putting cases on all you bitches. You think you can do this to me? I run shit here. King Kong ain't got shit on me. Yeah, King Kong ain't got nothing on me. And Drake came out with that dish record. What? Give me 50, 50 push-ups. Oh, man, Drake said he was in the gym. Hey, give me 50. And he sent shots at a bunch of other MCs. But he especially was talking to my main man, Kendrick. And I was waiting. I was waiting. Look, at everybody else. Oh, Kendrick got something for him. Kendrick got something for him. And then what did we get? We get nothing but total silence. Silence from Kendrick. And I was saying to myself, damn, I know Drake been on top of this game since what? I think about 2008. You know, he, he, Drake, Drake been on. And I had never seen an MC. Well, Drake, is, is he an MC or he's a singer? Well, he, he's a combination of both. Yeah. He's been on top of the mountain for so long. And, and, and I thought, I was saying to myself, damn, Kendrick, you, you said you wanted to smoke. But I guess you really don't want that smoke. And Drake saw it, too. Oh, man. Drake done sure took your shirt off and showing all his abs and, and, and everything. <laughs> showing all his abs. Yeah, I got to laugh. But, but showing all his abs, saying, yeah, I'm running this show. I'm that bad man from Canada. I, 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 I'm the raptor that, that put the raptor in the Toronto Raptors. That, that Drake, 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 Drake. Drake was holding it down. And then nothing from Kendrick. And then what, what, what did Drake do? Oh, Drake sent another shot. Boom, boom. Oh, Drake was shooting it up. Drake was shooting up the club. Drake, Drake sent another shot at Kendrick. Oh, but that freestyle that he did, what it was called, Taylor something. And, and you know, I was like, okay, Kendrick, what you going to do? What you going to do? And total silence from Kendrick. And I was about to call a fight. I was like, man, Ken, Kendrick don't want to fight. He, he, he don't want none of that. He don't want none of that bad man from Canada. He don't want he don't want the red storm from Canada. He don't want that smoke like he said he want that smoke. But then, ladies and gentlemen, in the early morning, Tuesday, I didn't see it coming. I woke up and all I heard was. A bomb drop and it was euphoria by Kendrick and man oh man oh man Kendrick was giving Drake body blows after body blows and I'm like god damn Kendrick oh you oh that's what you was doing all this time you was biding your time you was laying in the cut you was getting all your ducks in a row you wanted him to spit what he gonna spit but you getting your itch together 
Oh, man, I know Drake was like, what the hell did I get into? And I know J. Cole was like, see, that's why I stepped out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what, what, what kids would say? You know, I like, I like, I like Drake when he make me put my hands up. I don't like Drake when he be acting, trying to act tough. <laughs> Oh my goodness, yeah, I gotta laugh at that, ladies and gentlemen, because Kendrick, oh, his penmanship is, is so nice, so nice. And you know, I was about to say, okay, Drake, you, you got that smoke from the man, you know, and, and his pen game is, is, is on point. So go, go ahead and bow up, man. We, we, you know, all us hip hop heads, you know, we, we would have just said, hey, man, it's over. You could bow out gracefully. But that bad man from Canada, he wasn't having that. Oh, no. Drake wasn't having that. Then Drake came out with what? What? Family matters. Oh, I could. I thought Drake couldn't recover from that euphoria, but Drake came out with family matters. And man, oh man, I was like Drake. You just got dropped. I, I, yeah, got me stuttering. I was like Drake. You just dropped the. Drake dropped the bomb on Kendrick. Oh my goodness. Oh, he, Drake just went nuclear. Oh, oh, Drake, Drake, Drake's flipping his style, changing the beat up. I'm like, Drake, I didn't see that in you, my boy. I, I really didn't see that in Drake. I didn't. Drake was like, I'm the king of this mountain. I've been holding hip hop down. I've been holding this genre down for the longest. And nobody going to take my spot. Kendrick, you say you wanted to smoke? Well, you got to smoke. Now what you going to do? Uh, you, everybody know Kendrick, you know, takes a while to, you know, to do his thing. Because I was like, yeah, if it took, it, it took Kendrick about two weeks, I think two to three weeks before he dropped that euphoria uh, against uh, um, Drake. So I know it's going to take him a while because he has to digest. He has to digest that, 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 that bomb that, that, that um, uh, uh, um, Drake um, sent his way. You know, that missile, that bullet. But... Guess what? Not less than four hours. I didn't see this coming, ladies and gentlemen. A goddamn Hiroshima bomb. Oh, my goodness. I did not see that coming. Oh, meet the Grams. Kendrick Lamar replied to Drake. In less than four hours. Now, I, I'm going to put this in perspective. So for those out there that, that you know, there has been a lot of, lot of battles out there. Uh, you know, a, a lot of good battles. MC Shane and, and, and KRS-1. That, that's one come to my mind right there. Yeah, and, and, and MC Shane tried to come back with, you know, kill that noise. But everybody already know KRS-1 killed him with the bridges over. Oh, he, he killed them with that. And then, of course, my favorite disc record of all time, of all time, No Vaseline, Ice Cube. You know, NWA took shots at Ice Cube first. They did. They did. They called the man Benedict Arnold. And, and, and Cube, Cube, you know, Cube penmanship is just nice. And Cube came out with that No Vaseline. I'm like, oh, my God. It's just nasty. Oh, Cube just... Mm, Q, 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 he dissected NWA so bad, so bad with his penmanship. And I was like, there's no way nobody else could come away, uh, you know, could write a better diss song than that. Nobody, nobody, nobody. But then, uh-oh, a caveat here, a caveat. That goddamn Chris Brown. That goddamn Chris Brown diss to Quavo. Chris Brown, you a bad boy. That, God damn it, boy. Oh, Chris Brown, a bad boy. Oh, that's a bad boy. So I was like, God damn, Chris Brown. I, I didn't know you had it in you. Well, I knew you had it in you. You just that talented. But you, you, dropped, you dropped the goddamn nuclear bomb on Quavo. So I'm like, God damn, is this, 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 it can't get no better than that. So, you know, I got No Vaseline, number one. I got The Bridge is Over, number two, this song. And then Chris Brown pulling up number three. But ladies and gentlemen, I, I think I'm going to have to knock. I got to knock no Vaseline off of my top 
this song <laughs> because this goddamn beat the grams. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Kendrick. 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 God damn it, Kendrick. Uh, ladies, all, all, I, all, I, all I keep hearing in my mind is. <sighs> Drake, Drake, you got to shoot him now. Drake, 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 Drake. You, you know, I, I don't mean shoot to kill. I mean, you, you got to do something. You, <sighs> ladies and gentlemen. Kendrick Lamar, you, you, you wrong for that, man. The song is just disrespectful. How the hell you gonna write a letter to this man's son? You you gonna write a letter to this man's son and tell this man, man's son that he ain't ish? You gonna tell the man's son that his, his that his dad is a deadbeat, that he he's not showing him what he needs to, to know to become a man? No man does that. No man. It, like, yeah, yeah, my voice done when he got high. Because Kendrick, this is just so disrespectful. Then at the end, you're going to tell the man's son, hey, you may not get it now, but you may get it when you're 18. Just listen to this again. God damn it, Kendrick. And ladies and gentlemen, that, that's why, you know, I was saying, Drake, you got to get this motherfucker. You got to put your hands on goddamn Kendrick. And I was like, well, you know, it can't get no worse. But then it got even worser. Oh, my goodness. Now you're writing a letter to his mama and his dad. I'm saying to myself, oh, my goodness. Telling the damn you know, Drake's dad that he wish he had put a condom on. <laughs> oh, shit. Telling his mom to sit down because I'm about to tell you some shit about your son that you probably don't even know. And, and just, just, just goddamn disrespectful. I'm like, God damn it, Drake, you got to put your hands on this goddamn boy now. Now, boy, this man. Oh, and I like, man, it can't get no worse than that. Then verse three comes along. Now, allegedly, Drake, Drake, Drake. Please tell me you, you, you're not a deadbeat dad. Come on, come on, Drake. Come on. Come on now. You know, push your T. You know, yeah, you didn't want none of that, that smoke. But push your T, push your head back. You know, when, when he talked about your, your, your son and come to find out you did have a son. You're trying to hide that son. <laughs> what what, what uh, push your T say? Uh, 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 talk to Border Patrol, let that boy come home. Yeah, that was a cold, that's a cold verse right there. But. Now you got Kendrick saying that you got a you got a daughter, and you not even taking care of your daughter, Drake. No, no, no. I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. So allegedly, Drake got a daughter, and Drake, you're a deadbeat dad. Drake, where, where, where is all this information coming from? You got a leak in your camp. You got a Fredo. Oh, you got a Fredo in your camp. Oh my goodness, yes, you got a Fredo. But man, oh man. I, I, Kendrick, just disrespectful. You know, I'm going to let that slide because I don't know if you got. So I, I gave that third verse, you know, we're we going to say, I, I, I'm, I'm going to let that one. That wasn't as painful as the first two. You know, that one, because I, I don't know if you got a daughter or not. But if it, if it comes out you got a daughter, oh, that, that's back on the table. Oh, that's, that, that's back at being really, really disrespectful. And then I was like, man, okay, he, he closing it out. He's probably just going to say some other stuff and, and just close the record out. But then that boy from Compton did another. That boy from Compton dropped another nuclear bomb when he wrote a letter to you. <laughs> he, he said he wrote a letter to Aubrey. <laughs> Oh, Drake, Drake, man, go ahead and buy out, man. It's okay. It, look, your, your core fans, they still going to be there. Drake, Drake, you, like I said, you have one of the most phenomenal runs that I have ever seen. You, you make classic music. You make music for people to dance to. You make, you make people, you, you just make people happy, man. 
you know, and I agree with Kendrick. You know, we like you, you know, keeping our hands up. Not when you're trying to act tough. It, it, it. I know when you dropped that Family Matters, you and your boys, y'all, y'all, y'all was, you know, probably popping champagne. You know, you remember back that record, pop champagne? Yeah, you, you know the record. Yeah, and, and I know y'all probably say, man, yeah, 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 we got him. He can't recover from that. And I was even saying that. I, I was saying, I was saying that euphoria, then, then you came back with, with, um, with uh, uh, Family Matters. I'm, I was like, yeah, I still gave it to Kendrick. But I was like, okay, okay. Drake penmanship is, is, is off the chain now. You know, allegedly, him and his ghostwriter's penmanship is off the chain. So I'm like, okay, okay, but <sighs> give it up, man. That, that, that fourth verse that he, that, that he did on, on Meet the Grams, oh, my God. Then he called you out by your first name. I'm like, oh, my God. Then he went down the line. And, and then, then, then he compared you to, to Harvey Weinstein. Oh, he, he, man, he said he wished that you would die. Kendra, you, yeah, man, you, you started scaring me. Your, your vo- his, his, this is what it is to me, ladies and gentlemen. His voice is so calm. He sounds psychotic. That's a psycho sound. <laughs> psycho sounds like that. You know, they're real calm. You know, you, you ever met a person... And, 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 and you could be getting all loud and carrying on and being rambunctious and they just stay calm. They just look at you and they just talk to you just like this and nice and slow and, hey, calm down. Hey, why, why are you doing all this yelling? Those are the ones that you got to watch. And that's what Kendrick did in this song. That is exactly what Kendrick did in this song. Drake, you up there acting tough, you doing this, you getting all rowdy. And all Kendrick Lamar was doing was, hey, calm down. Calm down, Drake. You don't want this, Drake. Okay, Drake. I heard what you say, Drake. Oh, you think it's going to take me a while to come out with another diss song? Oh, I already got this loaded for you. So go ahead and buy out while you can. You for real. It, 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 it. Yeah, go ahead. You see, I, I, I hit you with some body blows, so let it go. And this is how Kendra's is talking. This is how he's talking to you, Drake. But then you went and messed up and you dropped Family Matters. And like I said before, man, that's a good diss song. That is, that's a good diss record. Now, it's not in my top 10. It's not in my top 10. But it's probably my top 20. Top 20. But then, goddamn, Kendra dropped that. Man, you got to shoot him now. Oh, well, don't shoot him. What I want you to do, you need to get some, some of your goons, and they need to go to Kendrick and, 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 and like put his hand face down on, on, on something and get a bat and break his fingers so he can't write no more shit. <laughs> because, because that full verse, man, he, he, yeah, he, he, basically, he basically acknowledged it, acknowledged uh, you see, I can't even say the word. Annihilated you. I know I've, I've effed that word up, but it's still going to be on this podcast. Yeah, yeah, he took you out on that one, man. So I, I need you to just go ahead and bow gracefully. And he even told LeBron and Steph Curry to stay away from you because he think that you're a pedophile and that your house going to be raided next. Oh, just disrespectful. So disrespectful. So Drake. From the man on the street. For all you fan, for all, all the fans that like your music, bow out, man. Let it go. Let it go. Like I say, you, 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 you was on top of the game for so long. So long. Man, be proud of that. But that's a true MC right there. That, that's a real MC right there. You know what I'm saying? You, you part-time MC. He does this for real. You, you, can, you can tell the difference. So... Go ahead and bow out, man. Bow. bow. Just bow gracefully. It's okay. It's okay to lose with grace, man. You, you, you lost this one, man. You lost this one. Now, if you come up with another disc record, I might be on here saying the opposite. I might be saying Kendrick. No, I won't be saying that. I don't think you recover from this. It's one thing, it's one thing to put out a song, but it's one thing when somebody says stuff about you that may be true. 
that is true. What, what did he say? Um, uh, don't tell no lies about me. I think that was Kendrick saying one of them. Don't tell no lies about me, and I won't tell no truth about you. Kendrick is out here trying to expose you. He's trying to expose you, man. So go ahead and just bow out, man. It's okay. It's okay. Keep making your music. You know, we still going to listen to it. We still going to dance to it. But you're going up against a real MC. You're going up with somebody who penmanship game is, is just bananas. It's, it's hard, man, when you're going up against somebody who, who, could, who could write metaphors and double conundrums and who could put par who could put par I, I'm doing parables and syllables and shitty. I, no, man, your ghostwriter's not that good. They, they're not that good. I, I hate to say they're not that good. So go, go ahead, man. You, you can't body him, man. He's technical knockout. Kendrick Lamar, winner. Drake. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you got you got pretty whip bad. But hey, that's just my opinion. That's just my opinion, ladies and gentlemen. So let me know that in the comments who y'all think winning this battle. Is it that bad man from Canada, Drake, or is it Kendrick Lamar? Hey, the man on the street wants to know. <laughs>